Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I was just about to try and record another lecture today when I noticed that my kids had actually left a couple of their whiteboard drawings on the whiteboard and they've been sitting here for a couple of weeks. Now if you've ever worked with whiteboards I'm sure you know that if you leave dry erase pen on a whiteboard for too long usually you're gonna have to bust out the whiteboard the liquid whiteboard cleaner and a paper towel and spend a couple of minutes wiping it down and drying it off and yada yada yada. Well I thought I would take this opportunity to actually show you one of the best whiteboard erasers that I've ever come across and it's something you would never really expect. I certainly didn't expect it. Um, so as you know, I do a lot of whiteboard drawings here and you can believe me that I've done and tried a whole bunch of different types of whiteboard sy uh, eraser systems. So, you know, you've got your typical standard whiteboard eraser, which really is just a bunch of felt stuck on a block of styrofoam. And it, you, you look at this, this doesn't really work, right? I rub this thing over this and it doesn't come off. And I've tried plenty of other different schemes. I've tried everything from paper towels to dishcloths and lots of other things too. <clears throat> okay, so are you ready for it? Here's the secret that I've discovered. This is what you really want. They're Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So you buy these uh, in pretty much any store and they're used for bathroom cleaning, whatever cleaning. And they look like just this, you know, with this white foam block here, but it's surprisingly effective. So again, let's just, gosh, I feel like, I feel like an infomercial guy. Let's take a look at the differences here. You watching me camera guys? So let's try the, you know, your standard whiteboard eraser on some of this, uh, this caked on week old uh, drawing. So you can see, I, I brush it over this, it doesn't come off, right? Some of these might come off. Yeah, these, these come off a little bit better uh, with the normal eraser. But now, take a look at this, this magic eraser, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. You just take it, wipe it over, and look at that. It comes right off, and it's beautiful. It doesn't leave some of these, uh, some of the, the, the deposits like the normal eraser does. And look at this, I'm not even applying that much pressure, and wow, it, it really comes off. So again, I'm not sponsored by Mr. Clean, I, gosh, I wish I was, but uh, I've never come across a system that works so good. This silly magic eraser seems to do wonders. So again, maybe, maybe let's just quickly do a quick little test. I'll just show you, I'll just draw over here. Here's one. Here's another one. And if you use a normal eraser, does okay. You can see it leaves a little bit of a, of a mark here. But the magic eraser, the same amount of pressure, you just do it a few times, and I feel like it comes off much cleaner, it's much easier. So again, this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser seems to do wonders. Again, it doesn't work all the time here, so some of these things that have been caked on a while, you will have to apply a little bit of pressure, but look at this. I don't need to break out the uh, liquid whiteboard cleaner to clean this off. You just do a little bit of pressure, and this all just comes off. And I don't think it does, it doesn't appear to hurt the surface. I've used this a lot, and it seems to work wonders. So again, this seems to be uh, one of these little well-kept secrets, or I guess nobody really knows. But again, instead of dragging this on, I'll just show you again. These seem to work wonders for erasing whiteboards. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to clean this thing off so we can actually get to some reasonable content here. And I hope to catch you at the next video. Till then, bye.